Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to get your MSL or SPC without calling Sprint. Uh, we don't happen to be Sprint customers, uh, so this is very important to us. Also, if you don't want to uh, go online and try to obtain it or call customer service, uh, this is a great way of doing that. Uh, you will need your SPC to access uh, certain settings on this device. First, I would recommend going to Phone. Dial pound pound data, D A T A, pound. You'll come to this screen that says view or edit, and then you'll have to enter your MSL. Let's assume at this point we do not have it. First, you have to go through that before you will be able to obtain it. So, go ahead and do the pound pound data pound stuff that I just mentioned. Download from the Google Play Store a program called ConnectBot. Go ahead and enter that. Instead of SSH, go to local and enter a nickname. I entered Chris. And I realize this is small. I might be able to change the size here. Uh, let's just leave it at that. I'll zoom in using Sony Vegas. Right here you want to type in get prop space R I L period uppercase M uppercase S and uppercase L. You want to enter it just like I have right there and then press enter. Your MSL should display now. Of course mine is six four three five four seven. We're used to flashing devices to Cricut Wireless and other carriers. The Sprint, uh, the Samsung default password does not seem to uh, work with this device. We also tried other methods of uh, changing the MSL with no luck. So let's go back into that menu I was in earlier and I'll give you guys one tip. I believe this is helpful for both Sprint and Cricket users. For Cricket users, you will have to do this to be able to stream Pandora, YouTube, and anything else. Uh, Sprint users can see a speed boost by doing this. So go in there and hit edit, and then go to others, and then multimedia. Right here you'll have an address in RTSP proxy address and HTTP PD proxy address. Go ahead and go in there and zero it out by dialing 0.0.0.0, hitting OK. Change the proxy ports to zero. And when you're done, go ahead and hit back and it will save automatically. You can go through these uh, settings and take a look. Always remember your default settings just in case you change something. So for more information about the U.S. versions of the Samsung Galaxy S3, please visit our website at usgalaxyS3.com, like our YouTube videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.